Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Well, uh, there are some women out there that don't enjoy the sports and they are feeling like they are very alone right now. Well, and how do you cope with that, right? I mean, when everyone uh, in your life is watching the hockey game, why not join in but do it with your own style? Hence the website, Well The Men Watch. It's a great idea. Lena Sutherland and Jules Mancuso joining us. Hello, how ladies. You guys? Hi. Hi. From New York and Toronto? Yeah, that's right. How do you guys know each other then and how did this all come together? We've been friends for over 20 years. We're both high school friends from Toronto and uh, one afternoon during football playoffs earlier this year we were on the phone together while both of our men who are sports addicts were watching the football game and uh, Jules and I just started doing our own version of commentary. So you were just watching over their shoulders. <laughs> yeah. And the girl commentary is very different from the boy commentary. It's really funny. It and obviously is. you guys realized this was entertaining. Is that what made you decide to start the website Jules? It did. So we just naturally started decoding the rules of the game, making comments about the players which got coached just needed a makeover and we found it very entertaining and so did our men so we thought we would take it to the next level. Well because there is a different um, uh, perspective that women bring to the game like my wife watches the game not so much for the game itself but for everything that's going on within the game right. like all the little things that I don't really notice and it's pretty funny. All right uh, let's talk about a few things because you guys are in town uh, you were here for the last game and you're in town for the next game as well for We're, this one on Saturday. We'll be broadcasting our show live from Vancouver. We're really excited to be here yes. in the thick of all the action in support oh, of the be Canucks. Lots of it. Is it yeah. just a stream of consciousness? Like you guys are just watching the game and Jules, you're just doing what you would normally do and sort of talking your way through it? Someone Definitely. did tell us that it sounded like you were eavesdropping on a conversation between two girlfriends. <laughs> which yes. is so much fun. So we're going to do a little Lebongo, bit right now. What are you doing? We're yeah. going to get you guys to give your commentary on uh, two of our favorite things. And I'm calling them things that are okay. at all almost every game they are called the green men yeah uh, let's have a wee look at them what, what do you guys think of these two we love the green men yes they're awesome not only are they keeping us entertained but they're being productive <laughs> <laughs> we want to know when Vancouver takes the cup home are they going to reveal their identity to us oh see we know who they well we know who they are we don't but uh, if they stand up a little more you can see more of their identity than I think anyone <laughs> you can ever also tell their religion with at okay all. let's move on uh, to a young lady who uh, decided to distract the players in the penalty box in a different fashion what do you guys think of this? Well, you know, I think if you're going to flash, uh, icy cold arena is the best place to do it while everything's standing to attention. I'm with you, sister. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> you get a certain firmness to the experience. I mean, That's make right. the most of your moment. Oh, Why not? my goodness. But this is, I mean, this was scandalous to people for some reason in, in around sports. But I don't know, it kind of made sense to me. When you watch football, I mean, like soccer in Europe, this is not uncommon when you right. watch that sport over there. Well, I mean, that's exactly why we do our show, because women engage in the sport in their own way. We that's have right. fun, and we have a chat room on our site where women are from all over North America are giving us commentary. We're talking to each other, asking each other questions. Uh, what about the dudes? Do a lot of dudes sort of chime in and stuff? Actually, when you guys we have quite a following of yeah. male um, followers, and they actually end up putting the TV on mute. So they're still watching the game, but they're listening to our commentary because we're more entertaining than the broadcasters. Why not? Okay, let's Love move on. I'm, see, I missed the purple girls, but this apparently the there were the green men and uh, the purple girls. You know, to be honest, I've never seen the purple girls, and I think this is how you should be sporting purple, not in spandex. <laughs> These guys, just what about the poor people behind them? They can't see anything. I don't think the guys Nobody mind. cares. I really don't. We have to set this up because when you guys watch, you, you end up with, uh, what do you call Team boyfriends or yes. our boyfriends. Yes. Your boyfriends. We on choose the team? a boyfriend of the game. Okay, boyfriend of the game. Is it based on play, looks, attitude? What do you base? Variety of factors. Yes. Okay. It helps to choose a boyfriend on the same team that your man is cheering for. Right. Then you can cheer. Okay. Do you have a first star, second star, third star, or do you just go with one? Uh, we have our favorite, and then we <laughs> highlight the number two, number All right, three. The is it malleable within the game, Jules? I mean, does it change as the game goes along it based can. on behavior? It can. It sometimes we switch teams if we find there's uh, more cute guys on one Interesting. team. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the Canucks, and we'll get yeah. you guys to tell us what you think of our boys. Okay. First of all, Boyfriend. be excellent yes. or be sexy, uh, be exa, whatever you want to call him. What do you think? Well, this I would have no problem watching in overtime. <laughs> <laughs> Is he sort of the go-to for the Canucks for, he's, for he's both you guys? One. He's number one boyfriend. Yes. We share him because we're such good friends. Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Look at what you did to his shirt, though. It's horrible. It just ripped it apart. Okay, let's move on to Burroughs. Uh, what do we think of Burr's? Now, this is not a great... I wish we'd it found looks, it better. Yeah, it looks like he's very young there. But what do you think of Burr? Well, I have to say, I'd take a missing front tooth over a playoff beard any day. Uh, playoff beards are not 
No. Uh, yeah. Do you guys have you seen Sammy Sallows? We should have a picture of this, but Sammy Sallows <laughs> playoff just, beard. I don't. I mean, I know it's a tradition, but I mean, would a woman ever let all the body hair grow for the Oscar night? Some, you know, some for good would. luck. <laughs> I think some have. <laughs> you Not have us. just changed my entire. <laughs> remember <world>. Julia Roberts? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah. That was her playoff beard. It was. Maybe. And it was did she win? Beard. I mean, maybe I that brought her good luck. I can't remember if it was the same year if she jinxed herself. Okay, let's move on to the Sedins. Uh, okay. There are a couple of my favorite players. The Neeners. Yes. Uh, the twins. We're curious to know if uh, the curtain matched the carpet. <laughs> wow, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Hey, oh. we are Sex and City meets ESPN. You know, so. I've thought a lot of things about the Sedins. That that thought has never crossed my mind. Uh, I might be traumatized. Uh, wow, well, you guys, Effort? you're changing the whole game. I, mean, I guess this is what you guys do. You change yes. the game for people. Well, women do. We think of all the minutia that men are just glazing over yeah. while you're chasing us. See, well, most of the time, I'm just tuning out all the conversation that's happening because I'm focusing on the game. So I'm not listening, and I'm sure my wife is and talking about all this stuff, and I'm just... Okay, let's move on to Luongo, uh, the man with the big stick, he's got to with a goalie. <laughs> wow. Well, he's well. sending clearly a message here. I think that's <laughs> enough. He's said. Italian. He's what? a man of many talents, and you know, what can you say about I'm that? I'm not getting the message. I don't know that one is it. Uh, sexy, uh, could he count as a team boyfriend? As uh, he's He's yeah. very flexible. We give yeah. points for, you know, flexibility. flexibility. So, so between the goaltenders, uh, Boston's, and I know this is probably going to be a slam dunk because one of them has a playoff beard, one doesn't. Tim Thomas, Roberto Luongo, uh, based on your... Well, we're going to go for Vancouver Canucks regardless. So that's not <laughs> even a question. That's a great answer. Well, thanks so much, you guys. If you want to so tune in, funny. you can do so on the website. Uh, if you want to find out more info, there's tons of great stuff on the site. And, of course, you can listen live for the game tomorrow if you want an interesting commentary. While the men turn watch down the also play on by Twitter. Play. And you can turn up, you guys. Absolutely. Right. Thank, Thank you so much, you both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. We're going to take a break.